Hello, everybody. How are you guys doing this uh, afternoon? <laughs> um, has anybody ever, you know, walked down the street or anything like that and seen like a little fat, little obese child walking around, kind of wobbling around the street? Anybody? Yeah, I know that's a, um, that's a rising problem with today is that uh, there's a lot of kids in today's society that are really they're becoming more and more obese, and the reason for that is because of the lack of exercise that they're getting. Uh, the first problem lies with the child itself not getting sufficient exercise. Uh, today we have more and more TVs in households than we did back what, 50 years ago or 20 years ago even, and that's giving them more time to you know sit in front of TV, watch TV, play video games, things like that. That's taking their attention away from actually going outside and playing. Um, they and a lot of kids that I know now, like I have a little cousin, he doesn't even want to be competitive anymore. He doesn't all he wants to do is sit in front of the TV. He doesn't want to go outside and try to beat somebody at a race or driving down the street. I mean, riding a bike or something like that. He just has no drive anymore. Um, the second problem also lies with the parents of the child. They don't promote physical activity enough for their children. Um, they don't push their kids out the house. Like I know when I was a child, my mom was constantly telling me, go outside and play, get out the house, stop watching TV, stop doing that. And same with my grandparents, she's the same way. But now, uh, my uh, niece, she just sits in front of TV all day long, doesn't move, doesn't do anything. Her parents just sit there and watch her. She's so lazy, she won't even get up off the couch to call them. She'll sit there on the couch and yell, Mom, Dad, can you get something for me? She doesn't want to get up and get it herself. It's kind of a little silly in a way. Um, parent, and also the other thing is that parents can also be too busy to worry about how much physical activity their child is actually getting. So like, um, single, like single home parents, they don't have time to, let's say, put their kids in sports and this and whatever. All they have time to do is really just to make sure their kids get to and from school safely. And the parents don't, the parents don't force their kids to get active. They just kind of just let them go by the wayside. They don't really worry about what the kids are doing and how much you know, activity they get. Uh, the third problem lies with the school systems. They're providing less and less physical activity such as PE programs, there's a, a LA Unified School District is trying to cut back how much physical activity um, they offer, like how many PE classes they offer so that they can force more, so they can focus more on things like <coughs> reading and math, which are what more people, what seems to be people are more concerned about is how well their kid's reading or how good their kid is at math and not how obese or how big their child is becoming. They're, they feel that, um, they feel that grades, good grades and being smart outshines being physically fit and active and basically having physical, having uh, disabilities later on due to the fact that they have you know, physical activity. Um, this leads to the child not being, not one, not playing or even learning how to play sports. I have a, there's a kid I teach who I'm teaching how to play basketball who's 13 years old who hasn't learned in school how to even dribble a ball. He's 13, it's like, why hadn't anyone stepped aside and taught you how to dribble a ball? Something as simple as that. Uh, it, teaches, it also teaches kids that physical activity is not important. If, they, if they're not enforcing it in schools, then why should the kid try to go out and be physically active and try to motive, move around and do things when no one's telling them that they need to? Um, and that's the reason why I believe that the growing up of obesity children in the United States is due to the fact that there is less less physical activity among the kids. All right, James, uh, you clearly state what your uh, proposition is, and it sounds like you're starting a preview, but really, instead of previewing what the contents are, you go right to the first point 
Uh, all of the internal points are labeled, and they're pretty clear labels, although I do think a numerical signpost on each of them wouldn't hurt, and it might make it a little bit easier to follow things uh, through pretty clearly. Toward the end, there's a little bit of a summary that also helps structure things in our heads a bit as well. Um, so it's not, it's not hard to follow your argument or know what, where you're going. The proof, though, is really a little bit underwhelming. You've got the example of your cousin, the example of your niece, the example of the kid that you're tutoring. So I got three kids that you're talking about here, and based on that, I'm supposed to make the inference that kids aren't getting enough physical education uh, or that they aren't uh, active enough. Uh, this should not be hard to find information on. Apparently the NFL thinks it's important enough. They've got their own program to try and promote kids going out and playing. Uh, the respondent is probably going to look at some very simple information, you know, the widespread use of um, you know, sports leagues, for instance, for kids, uh, the number of kids participating in organized sports is an illustration, the schools requiring PE, uh, there's got to be some data on those kinds of things, and you don't have anything on this. You have one piece of information that says the LA Unified School District is talking about cutting PE classes, which I think is a, a good piece of information. You do want to give us a source citation on it, however. Uh, your generalizations, I think, really depend on the assumptions of the audience and their conclusions based on seeing fat kids and uh, accepting your examples as being typical. And I think that that's a little problematic. You do a nice job talking to the audience. You have very good audience contact. And like I said, I think that uh, your explanations are pretty clear. It's the proof that is uh, uh, really thin. All right. Thank you.